And to me, right now, physicalism means that there is a closed, a causally closed mechanical layer to reality, and we directly supervene on it. Mm. Right? It's uh, if you, it could be that there is a physical universe that is entirely mechanical, and in this physical universe exists a computer that is operated by some nerd, and you exist as a simulacrum in this computer, and the world around you is arbitrary. Right? But that means you are not in a physicalist world. For instance, if you lived in Minecraft, uh, even if Minecraft exists on a physical computer, uh, this would not be physicalism. Because you would not directly supervening on this mechanical layer. The regularities that you observe are only the result of arbitrary ideas of a programmer, not the result of what's happening in physics at the lowest level. Right? So physicalism is this idea we are actually in base reality. And if I think about what's an alternative to physicalism beyond the simulation theory, beyond the idea that there is this causally closed mechanical layer is somewhere else, um, how does this work? W what would it look like if there was no foundation to the world? Uh, or is it just a conspiracy? <laughs> I, I, I just don't know how to think about this. And uh, so I can think about the idea that the universe may be at the lowest level, some kind of tautology that explains why there is something rather than nothing. And then I, ex uh, I see a, a branching multiverse by applying all possible operators simultaneously and so on. I come to a possible explanation that I am in a, in a branch of this space of all possible realities that would exist as such a mathematical tautology. right? And this ultimately is a physicalist worldview. Hmm. But it's quite different from what a school teacher would call physicalism, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, also to understand physicalism correctly, we still need to accept the fact that what you're looking at is not res extensa in the Cartesian sense, because basically Descartes thought that uh, what we interact here when we touch stuff and we uh, are observing ourselves to be in space and so on is in some sense the physical universe. But of course it's not. It's a game engine generated by your brain. There are no colors or sounds and so on in physics. They only exist in your own mind. So I do have to accept that the dreams at night are not that different from the dreams during the day. Only the dreams during the day are much, much more stable because they're tuned to model sensory data that are kept stable by some pattern generator outside of my mind, which we call the physical universe. right? So in this sense, I could, uh, you could say that I'm a dualist because I accept that there is a representational layer in which I exist as a perceiving being, as a causal structure that is ultimately software, state transitions uh, implemented on a different substrate and ignoring the actual physical dynamics beyond the fact that they can be used for representation. And then there is this physical universe that makes all of these things possible. But I can never visit this physical universe because I'm not conscious in physics. I'm only conscious in my own dream of reality, hmm. in my mind, in my representations. <laughs>